Why do you pull me over? I'll tell you that if you roll it down. Why can't you tell me now? I don't wish to answer questions. You have that. Let me know if there's a weapon in the car. Is that your current address? 1622? Is that a question? Yes, sir. Is that your current do address? I, do I answer questions? This is so bad on so many levels. In today's video, auditor from Clear Lake Community Watch drove past a traffic stop conducted by Harris County Sheriff's Office and yelled anti-police remarks along with some profanity. One of the officers abandoned the traffic stop and ran into his car to follow, let's say, Mr. Auditor to make it easier. After caring up to him, the officer used his lights to pull him over and Mr. Auditor immediately pulled into a gas station nearby. But before moving on to the video, don't forget to support us by subscribing to the channel, smash the like button and leave a comment with your opinion to keep the conversation going. Why do you pull me over? I'll tell you that if you roll it down. Why can't you tell me now? Because the reason I pulled you over is you're yelling something from your car. So what? Huh? So what? That's okay. why you pull me over because I'm because yelling. I don't know if you need help or anything. Oh, I don't need help. So, Thank you. Okay, let me see your driver's license real quick. I don't need help. This is just typical. Clearly, this is a cop just retaliating for being yelled at. But the Supreme Court already ruled that official reprisal for protected speech offends the Constitution. That's why they always play the Do you need some help card? And like always, he wants the window down because he already suspects that he's going to be received with some questions to which he doesn't know the answer to. And that's when they usually remove you from the car. But with the window up, it's going to be a little bit harder. Being that said, in this particular situation, it is hard to prove that he was indeed a violation of Mr. Auditor First Amendment in retaliation. It would likely be easier to prove the violation of his Fourth Amendment right for initiating a traffic stop without reasonable suspicion or probable cause. What for? You use the turn signal when you make turns. Of course I did. You can hear the sound on the dash cam too. Let me see, let me see your driver license. You can just crack the window if that's what you want to do. It's already cracked. I can't see that. Well, it doesn't matter. Here. I don't wish to answer questions. You have that. Let me know if there's a weapon in the car. Did you not take the class? I did. Did they tell you you have to tell them? If when you had... demand identification, I have to display this. That's what they told me in the class. That's what the law says. The officer wants to take the weapon. And actually, if I don't display, there's really not much you can do because there is no penalty attached to that. I have to carry this if I'm carrying this. Are you carrying? I don't answer questions. You have a weapon in the car, then what? You got one on your hip. So what? Mr. Auditor is carrying a holster firearm in his right hip and only displays his license to carry any driver's license as asked by the deputy, but refuses to answer to the deputy's questions about if he is carrying the handgun in the car. According to the Texas Penal Code, in less words, if a license holder is carrying a handgun, he shall display both the driver's license and the license holder handgun license. The statute does not require the LTC owner to present his handgun or verbally affirm that he is indeed carrying. Presenting the documents, it's all that is required to do by law. Do I smell alcohol in your breath? No, you don't. How do I know? Because you can't smell my breath? I smell something coming Oh, out. really? Let's see. Let me do some field sobriety on I don't you. think so. Okay. Yeah, where are you coming from? Huh? Where are you coming from? You saw me where I was coming oh, from. I you down are down. you done with this? I'm done with that, yeah. All right, cool. Where are you coming from? I don't answer questions, I've already told you. Let me know when I'm free to go. Also, what is your name? Your name? Sheriff, that's your name? Sheriff? I, I, I'm not familiar with the Eng English alphabet, sir. Okay, can I have it? Can I have an incident number, please? Oh, a ticket, a ticket. Notice how the auditor asked for the officer's name, but instead of providing his name as the police policy states, he says instead that his name is right here while pointing at his name badge and says that it'll also be on the ticket, after making fun of his accent. If you check Harris County Police Department's policy for professional conduct required, you'll see that this officer never even gazed at it. 
Along with the duty to provide official identification, there are many others that this officer doesn't comply with. And let's not even talk about those that are just from the point of view of being a decent human being. Can you imagine how this would go if this person knew nothing about the law and his rights? Did I exit the vehicle? 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 Hey, can I? You do have a dash cam, right? Very good. You can't just pull me over because I said the police. I hope you realize that, stupid. I'm sorry. Do you have insurance on the vehicle? Yeah. Can you show it to me, please? It doesn't come back. Of course, it comes back. Not on my system, it doesn't. Also, it's not typical behavior for somebody to be yelling out of the vehicle. Have you had anything to drink tonight? Is that your current address, 1622? Is that a question? Yes, sir. Is that your current do address? Do I do I answer questions? Okay, I'll just assume that's incorrect then. And why would you do that? Did you read my address on the driver license? It didn't have an, address, didn't have an apartment number on your driver's Of course license. it does. Let me see. Can you verify? You have already seen it. I've already complied with that part. I don't. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, I say that I've never met anybody quite like you that would uh, yell at an officer doing their job. But so, have a great let me understand. No fines, no Wait, may I ask you a question? Uh, this question's on there. There's the uh, address. Yeah, no, I have a question. Can you get your supervisor right here, please? No, uh, is the stop over? The stop is over. You may leave. All right. We don't exit until I get out. Until I leave. Well, uh, you said the stop is over, right? Okay, I'm not. I'm not getting out. Yeah, I will. Door, let me get back to my car. Okay, there is no need to draw your weapon, man. Are you drawing your weapon? You I didn't get out of the car. You told me that already. Yeah. Did I get out of the car? Go yourself. Yeah, right over there. You came. This is just ridiculous. But before going at it, a big advice. If you are dealing with a cop like this, a power trip junkie with low IQ, happy to draw, don't ever turn your back to him like this or you are taking a serious risk. Just record him as calm as possible. And now, what the hell is this? Now he can't exit his vehicle while the cop is still there and what if the cop decides to stay, let's say, 10 minutes more? And let's peel a layer off. Why is the cop so worried? Maybe because he knows that he was acting up as a tyrant just wanting to exert his power. A warning? A warning? For what? Fail to signal return indicator within 100 feet. Put the weapon on me. He drew the gun. Now get this, the auditor ended up filling a public records request for the traffic stop, but the department claimed that the request was overly broad and vague. So the auditor went personally to request the documents. He also claims that he intends to file a complaint and a lawsuit, but he's yet to receive the footage. So in this interaction, we give the officer a 0 from 1 to 10 for not knowing the law or his job, or in the worst case, for knowing the law and trying to rule with his ego. He did not show any attribute or skill worthy of a police badge. The auditor receives on the other hand a 9.5 for knowing the law and comply with it to its full extent, but refusing to answer to any additional questions of a revengeful officer. The only remarks we can make is on the profanity used towards the cops in the beginning and the fact that he turned his back to an officer very quickly when the sapiens cop had already drew his gun. Hope you liked the video, subscribe for more content and leave a comment with your opinion to keep the conversation going.